Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am doing my March TBR. So, it's a new month, which means a new set of books I'm going to be trying to work through. I'm going to be honest, y'all, and I hope I, this doesn't jinx me, but I've been doing really well with my TBR so far this year. I know it's only been like two months <laughs> into the year, but I'm hoping this is a good note. This is a good way to start the year. So, I am giving you this TBR in hopes that I continue this trend and I do really well and I just get the books read that I want to read and that I like the books that I want to read. So, the first book I have on this list is Some Shall Brick by Ellie Marnie. This is the sequel to Some Shall Sleep and it's kind of like a, the best way I would describe it is like Criminal Minds meets the naturals but like in the 80s so this takes place in the 80s and it's when the like behavioral analysis unit in the fbi is first really starting out and when the fbi is really starting to incorporate psychology into their investigations and research and all of that kind of stuff in regards to like criminals and serial killers so in this I don't know if it's just a duology or series, but either way, in this world, the FBI is recruiting this girl who has experience with serial killers. She was unfortunately kidnapped um, before the book starts, the first book starts, and she managed to survive, and she was the only survivor of this serial killer. So they recruit her and another boy who also has experience with serial killers to come in and help them investigate teen serial killers and help with cold cases. And so that's kind of the gist of the story. I really enjoyed the first one. And honestly, I wasn't sure if the, the author was going to continue on or leave it as a standalone because she could have done either or. But I'm so glad she continued on because I felt like the door was open enough to have a new, like a new book come with the same characters. So I'm really, really excited. I really enjoyed the teamwork between the main girl and the guy. Um, I thought they worked well together, I thought they were very empathetic towards each other and their traumas, and I really enjoyed the exploration into their traumas and how that played the role to how uh, they portrayed themselves current day and their responses to everything that's happened to them. So, I'm really, really looking forward to this. Next on this list, I have Holopox, The Hunt for Morgan Crow um, by Jessica Townsend. This is the third book in the Nevermore series. So, I'm really, really excited. I thought the first one was okay, and then I read the second one, and I really enjoyed that, and that's what made me want to continue on and read this third book. Um, and I think there's a fourth book coming out as well, so we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, but this is a middle grade, this follows a girl named Morgan Gro Crow, who was born on this, like, specific calendar day that any child born on this day, um, is supposed to die before their 12th or on their 12th birthday. And so Morgan has kind of lived a dismal life because like she's not expected to live long so people don't really have any expectations for her and they kind of just ignore her they don't want to be close to her because they view her as a cursed child so on the night of her 12th birthday this man i can't remember the man's name but this man comes and he comes to see her and he's like hey if you come and join our wondrous society and like compete to join the society and come into our world you won't die and so she basically takes him up on that and she goes into this world full of magic and it's really sweet and i really like it it kind of gives me um like willy wonka and the chocolate factory vibes a little bit where like and a little bit of narnia where you, she like enters this world of magic and she kind of has to get used to the the very chaotic and neurotic ways that people act within this society um so in the second book i really liked it a lot because i feel like this is where you see her really developing friendships and attachments um so i'm intrigued to see what this third book brings as well so then the third book i have on this list is god killer by hannah kaner so i don't really know much about this i think monet liked it for the most part so i'm basing this read off of her and hopefully i will like it as well i actually don't have the physical copy and i don't know what the synopsis is but i kind of want to go in not knowing just in case that helps me like it more so the next book i have is the mystery of black hollow by julie noble so this is another middle grade i put on this list it's been on my radar for a while so i finally want to get to it i believe it's about like 
I don't know, I don't honestly want to say it takes place in like a boarding school or like a very old home or something like that. I can't remember everything that I read about it, but I remember, I think someone recommended it to me and said they thought I would like it. And so that's why I'm finally putting it on this list. So the next book I have is uh, The Candid Life of Nina Dave, Dave, however you say that by Namrata Patel. It's about a girl who is kind of living this nomadic life. She's a photojournalist and she inherits this brownstone apartment. Um, and so she moves there and she kind of finds a community and maybe some love as well. That's kind of what I got from the synopsis and I'm really kind of looking forward to seeing what I think about this. Um, I really hope it's good. And then for my buzzword, so my the buzzword theme for March is character names. So I could either do The Candid Life of Mina De Dave or The Holopox, uh, The Hunt of Morgan Crow for that. So whichever one I finish first, we'll just go into that slot. The City of Stardust by Georgia Summers. This is going to be a buddy read with Monet. Um, I don't really know what this is about. Let me see. For centuries, Everleys have seen their brightest and best disappear, taken as punishment for a crime no one remembers, for a purpose no one understands. Their tormentor is a woman named Penelope who never ages, never grows sick, and never forgives a debt. Ten years ago, Violet Everly's mother left to break the curse and never returned. Now Violet must find her mother or she will be taken in her place. Her hunt leads her into a seductive, magical underworld of power-hungry scholars, fickle gods, and monsters bent on revenge. And in the path of Penelope's Penelope's quiet assistant, Alexander, who she knows cannot be trusted and yet to whom she finds herself undeniably drawn. Tied to a very literal deadline, Violet will travel to the edges of the world to find her mother and the key to the city of Stardust where the Everly story began. Hmm. So, it kind of sounds interesting. It seems like it's a, like a familial curse. She has to break it, find her mom, all that kind of stuff. So, I'm looking forward to that. This is the Fairy Loot edition, so it's obviously really beautiful. So I'm really looking forward to this. Alright, and then I've been trying to do a non-fiction a month this year, and so I've been doing really well. And my non-fiction pick for this month is Bad Gaze by Hugh Lemmy. So, hopefully I like that. I believe it's like a, the history of homosexuality, maybe. At least that's what I'm getting from the title, so we'll see. So, those are all the books I planned to read in March. I don't really have any extras um, that I want to get to, but if I do, I will let you know in my wrap-up. So, yes, thank you so much for uh, watching. I hope you guys liked the video. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave all that in the comment section. Let me know what you're excited to read this month. Um, if there's, like, books coming out or if there's just something you've been really, like, pushing to read this month, let me know. And if you're not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. You guys are awesome. Thanks for the world.